Hey sightseers, Sightseeing Sally here and Marty is around somewhere. We are in Quartzsite. Hey oh, hey ho, here he comes. Nice to see he's with me. <laughs> Anyways, we're in Quartzsite, checking out the old High Jolly Monument. High Jolly. I'm hungry. He's probably hangry. Again. Do you know the story of High Jolly? I don't. A lot of people might not. And actually, High Jolly it really isn't how you pronounce his name. I believe it's Haji Ali. But if you're not familiar with it, like me and a whole bunch of other people, it suddenly becomes High Jolly. And that leads into the story about why there's a monument here in Quartzsite named after High Jolly or Haji Ali. You know, it might be a good idea if we ate before we went anywhere. Getting back to the story of Haji Ali or High Jolly is that sometime in the mid 1800s, about 1856, 57-ish, he was brought over here by Jefferson Davis. Now Jefferson Davis was somebody that be went on to lead the Confederates and that's a whole different story. We're not getting into Jefferson Davis, but Jefferson Davis decided that down here in this area that they wanted to use camels down here in the desert because you remember back then there was like nothing here. It was just barren desert land and his idea was to bring in camels to help with moving things across the desert. Enter in High Jolly and High Jolly was the official camel herder, camel driver for this camel experiment. And because he was so loved, they have a monument for him here in Quartzsite. Now looking at High Jolly's monument, we can see that one, it's been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. And two, it has this really interesting tube here that says 1956 on it. 1935, actually. It's hard to read, but I see 1935. Okay, Marty corrected me. It says 1935. Again, another tour with Sally without her wearing her glasses. Wah, wah, wah. Those are the perils of getting old and not being able to read stuff. But we think that's perhaps where his ashes might be. Maybe. I, it's a port of something with a lock on it. They're accessing something. Strangely enough, this is made out of a couple different types of rock. You got, this looks like that lava rock you get with your grill, quartz. This looks like petrified wood. As a matter of fact, it is. You can see on the edge here, the rings of the wood. I don't know what this blue rock is, if anybody knows. I'm in quartz again. And just like at the cemetery in Aurora, Texas, for Ned the Alien, people have left tokens for High Jolly. And over here, we can see some of them. We got some pennies and some, you know, pieces of glass and rocks obviously and what looks oh, like an poker chip. yeah another poker chip so hi jolly can go play some play some blackjack over at the local casino so you can see over on this side somebody's stuffed what looks like a dollar up in the crack there in the crevice and over here is a quarter So it's pretty cool that people have been coming out and honoring High Jolly. Well, we were out here at High Jolly's tomb and guess who I met? We've got 
Bob and Tam's excellent adventures. <laughs> excellent as in really Holy. cool. <laughs> Gnarly dude. <laughs> you guys want to say hi? Say a little bit about your channel? Hey there. We're Bob and Tam's excellent adventures. We do RVs. We do all kinds of adventures and we follow motorcycle rallies. So if you do any of that, check us out. We'd love to see you. Come visit. Yep, I hear they have a really awesome channel and I highly recommend you guys check them out for something else to watch. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget yep. to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and ring that bell for notifications. Interestingly enough, along the high jolly thing, there is a ghost story associated with the high jolly camels. We're going to check that out right now. Well, we're here. So the ghost story is associated with this red camel. Now granted, it's not the red camel here that's haunting or was haunting Quartzsite, but this statue commemorates the actual ghost story. Do you want to hear the ghost story, Marty? No. Well, too bad you're going to hear it anyways. As the story goes, there was an actual red camel that was haunting Quartzsite. After the whole camels that got released after the experiment with the high jolly camels, sometime after, people were complaining that there was this red horse haunting the area. And in all reality, there was some truth to it. A woman was actually trampled by this so-called red horse or ghost. And it turned out after they investigated, it was an actual camel, a red camel with, of all things, a dried out skeleton strapped to it. You believe that? That's a bunch of baloney. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. <laughs>